Hey guys, beautiful day. Welcome to a brand new video. Finally, the most wonderful time of the year has come. December is all about Christmas preparation, family get together and reunion of relatives and friends. And of course, the spirit of gift giving. All of this symbolizes our thanksgiving to the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ. Once a year lang ang occasion na to, kaya naman we make sure to create memories with our loved ones. And this will only be possible by making sure that our Christmas celebration will always be special. Dahil dyan naisip kong mag-share ng some tips and reminders for our preparation this Christmas. You can also share your tips in the comments section because I'm pretty sure mas marami kayong ideas than me. Now, tip number one, set a Christmas budget. Kung di pa kayo nakapag-set ng budget, there's no better time than to do it right now. Have a budget, have a checklist, lahat ng mga possible na bilhin for Christmas. During Christmas, kadalasan, dyan na tayo nag-overspend. Kaya we make sure to budget ahead of time para hindi na tayo naghahabol last minute. Holiday preparation kasi sabay-sabay ang mga gastusin, sabay-sabay din ang mga events, kaya nakaka-stress. Kaya it's best to have a checklist and we must consider na yung checklist natin or yung budget natin is aligned sa mga current prices sa market kasi lalo na kapag holidays, tumataas ang mga prices, tumataas ang mga presyo ng mga bilhihin. Kaya naman, there are budgeting apps that will help us track our expenses at pwede nating matrace kung magkano na ang nagastos natin or ang pwede pa nating gastusin. In that way, hindi tayo mag-overspend. So, nabalikan na natin kung ano bang kailangan nating i-budget. On top of the list is food. Food preparation talaga, pinaka-importante. Lalong-lalo na sa ating may mga chikiting. We have to consider the food that they want to eat kasi minsan, picky eater sila, kaya kahit may occasion, hindi, hindi sila nakakakain ng tama, di ba? Isa pang kailangan paglaanan ng budget is ang decoration. If you're the kind of mom na nagde-decorate to set the mood and the vibe of Christmas and holidays, isa ito sa pinagbabudgetan ninyo. Mga families naman na gustong may mga games or may mga costume parties during Christmas, nagbabudget din sila para dyan. And lastly, at isa sa mga Napaka-importanteng bagay for me, next to food, is ang mga regalo. Gifts para sa loved ones, family members, mga inaanak, at lalong-lalo na sa aking mga anak. Kaya you guys, prepare ahead of time. Alam ko, by this time, meron na kayong regalo for your kids na nakalagay under the Christmas tree, just like what we have right here in our background. Number two, prepare your Noche Buena dishes. To be honest, napapressure talaga ako kasi hindi ako magaling magluto. And kadalasan, yung mabilis i-prepare at mabilis ihinda is yun pa yung mga unhealthy food. Kagaya na lamang ng mga all-time favorites, all-time Filipino favorites, just like lechon, crispy pada, adobo, at iba pa. Medyo delikado ang ating health. Lalong-lalo na kapag may mga family members na tayo na nasa edad na mga elderly natin. Kailangan tayong maghanda ng mga healthier options na mga pagkain. Unang-una sa aking listahan is fish dishes. Pwedeng maghanda ng tausi, sweet and sour fish, steam pampano fish, steam pampano fish, escabeche, or pwedeng as simple as grilled fish, tuna, panga, 
or squid, napakasarap. Magaling kayong magluto. It is so e this one so easy. Sisiyo sa inyo tong i-prepare, guys. No, you have a lot more better ideas than me. Please comment in the comment section para maluto din natin this Christmas, di ba? At chika naman, always na nating pre-prepare ang lechon manok, grilled manok. Pwedeng bumili tayo sa labas at pwede ring may sarili tayong marinate. Guys, have air fryer. Mas mabuting sa air fryer na lang natin iluto ang ating manok. I know a lot of you guys out there ay nakapurchase ng sarili niyong air fryer during this pandemic. Kaya iluto natin sa air fryer because no uling, less oil, Less oil at chill ka lang. Lagay mo lang doon. Wait ka lang for a few minutes. Luto na yung manok. Gusto desserts naman, panigurado na ang cakes, ice creams, at kung ano-ano pang matatamis na maisip ninyo, sigurado mag-order kayo this Christmas. But if you guys knows how to bake, there are a lot of YouTube tutorials and healthy recipes Pwede natin i-try at gayahin and i-prepare during this Christmas. But of course, alam ko, pagod na kayo and you have allocated naman na budget, you can always order naman a healthier option. Siguradong may mga ubi cakes, banana cakes at fruit cakes sa inyong lugar na inyong ma-orderan. Go for it. Drinks naman, alam ko, masarap mag-drinks pag masarap din ang ulam. But self-control guys. Palitan na natin ng mga fruit juices yan na kaya nga namin. Kayo rin, alam ko, kaya ninyo. And instead of beer, mag-wine na lang tayo. Tip number three, plan for something new and fun gimmick and activities this Christmas. In every family, meron tayong kanya-kanyang tradition during Christmas. Mostly sa atin, if not all, after Noche Buena, gift-giving na agad. After gift-giving... Meron tayong pa-games, yung iba nagkakantahan, yung iba nag-watch ng movie. San kasi, depende yan kung anong love language ang meron ng isang pamilya. Merong mga families, natutuwa na sila na magkantahan lang or magkwentuhan lang. Just, just like we did last Christmas, bonfire. If you have a backyard or kung you're living in a subdivision, baka hindi pwedeng mag-bonfire, no? Pero, if you are somewhere na pwede kayong mag-bonfire, you can do smurfs, or pwede kayong mag-projector dyan, tapos mag-movie kayo, pwede ganun, di ba? But for simpler families, pagkatapos ng Noche Bena, konting drinks, kwenteng kwentuhan, nagre-rest na sila kasi, syempre, lalo na kapag may mga matanda, pahinga na. But, if you want something new this Christmas, pwede tayong magpa-games, and if you have a budget, pwede mag-gift ng gold jewelries, ba? Diba? Para mas competitive yung ating mga family members na manalo kasi may pa-games at may pa-prices na gold. Tip number four, create and plan your Christmas gift list. Tradisyon na talaga nating mga Pinoy na magbigayan. Hindi lang sa pagkain, mas pati na rin sa mga regalo ngayong Pasko. Kaya ilista na natin kung sino-sino ang mga bibigyan. Family members, relatives and friends, boyfriends, girlfriends, office mates, or di kaya si boss. At kung ikaw naman si boss at meron kang business, meron ding gift para sa ating mga staff. Aside sa bonus, meron pang nakabalot na regalo. Swerte talaga. Swerte talaga ng mga staff sa mga sa mga malalapit na neighbors. Kadalasan yung mga binibigay natin sa neighbors is pagkain. In return, meron din silang pagkain na binibigay sa atin. And of course, ang ating mga inaanak. Guilty naman ako dito. Ilan ba inaanak ko? Anim. Anim sila. Pakilista na lang, ha? And while preparing the list, ilagay mo na rin yung mga possible mong ibibigay at yung budget na ilalaan mo per person. If you don't, well, if you don't have the idea yet on what to give, especially this Christmas sa mga inaanak, kasi depende yan sa age nila, depende din sa budget mo ang ibibili natin for them. Yung mga YouTube videos where, where they suggest what gifts to buy for a certain age. Yung angkop, sa edad, yung angkop sa edad nila at sigurado kang magugustuhan nila. I think makakahabol pa tayo kasi meron pang 12-12 sale. Kailangan makamura talaga tayo. Well, for my kids naman, very easy na sa akin kung ano yung bibilhin ko sa kanilang mga regalo. I usually go for educational toys. Just like last year, I've created a video buying them educational toys. So I will pop up right here if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook, I will link 
the video link down below. Marami namang gift choices for kids. What you have to make sure lang is durable yung mabiri mo, magugustuhan talaga nila para magamit nila ng mas mahaba-haba para hindi naman sayang yung pera natin, di ba? For our dear friends naman, pwede naman nating ibigay ang mga homemade recipes natin. Cakes, cupcakes na tayo mismo ang nag-bake kung mahilig tayong mag-bake. But for practical choices, we have kitchen wares na magagamit nila sa kitchen when they cook. Pwede ring skin care and also pwede ring clothes, pwede ring makeup. Depende sa kung anong hilig ng ating friend. For our dear husband naman, mas alam natin kung anong kailangan nila. Ting na magagamit nila on a daily basis, bagong, bagong wallet, bagong polo, bagong t-shirt, jet. But if you guys have the right budget at medyo blessed kayo this year, meron kayong in a lot na budget. The best gift is jewelry. Not only jewelry, but gold jewelry. Kagaya nga ng sabi ko kanina, we want to capture once a year occasion and and we want to make it special. We're creating lasting memories with our loved ones by giving special gifts. Just like gold jewelries from Sophia Jewelry. Katulad ng palagi kong sinasabi, go for trusted brands like Sophia Jewelry. More than 30 years in the business, available Mindanao wide and more than 30 branches. Available through online, they have a website, they also have Shopee and Lazada. So make sure to like and follow their pages so you'll be updated if they have new collections. And they also do live selling. You guys, during their live selling, meron talaga kayong mamamain. Magaganda talaga yung mga jewelries nila. Ako nga, I'm planning to purchase something from Sophia Jewelry as a gift for myself this Christmas. Why not, di ba? Lastly, Christmas gift wrapping. To alam ko, hindi lang ako ang nai-excite pag nagra-wrap ng gifts. Gift wrapping naman, I recycle lang old wrappers. Mga Christmas gift bags na binigay sa atin na pwede pa, na hindi pa napunit. Nire-recycle nire ko lang siya, tapos ginagamit ko siya ulit. And also, we can upcycle um, boxes, yung mga pinadala sa atin. Mga add festive touches like ribbons na Christmassy. Ang color or ang design, red, yellow, green, gold, silver, if you like. Basta avoid mga shiny foil kasi hindi siya na re recycle And also, you can do um, eco-friendly style of wrapping. Meron kasing mga boxes na binibenta na... Um, eco-friendly siya, yung mga uh, bayong na type. Iiba na yung naitsura ng box na in cycle mo or yung paper bag na brown pag may ribbon na siya. Higing maganda na tigyan yung gift mo kahit recycle mo lang siya. But for jewelry gifts, don't worry if you purchase from Sophia Jewelry, meron ng mga boxes ang kanilang mga jewelries ready for gift giving. Make sure to wrap your gifts earlier para hindi na kayo ma-stress at ma-display nyo under your Christmas tree. Ganda tignan. At meron na kayong background for your photo ops during Christmas Eve, di ba? And to wrap this video, I would just like to say what's important this Christmas is happy, healthy, and united family and a heart that is full of hope and full of love. Despite the pandemic, we are so blessed that we are here. We are healthy and we're doing this video so you're seeing me and I'm talking to you. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on all my social media accounts at it's Jaya Chan on Instagram, Jaya Chan on Facebook. Follow Sophia Jewelry, Facebook, Instagram, purchase on Lazada and Shopee. I'll see you on the next video. Bye! Merry Christmas!